Ask not what we are be can do for you. Ask what you can do for we all be. The same thing. And so now, let's, uh, what, anything else happened lately? Oh, well, you know, something that I wanted to talk about last week that you want to give, like, the right amount of time. Yeah. What's going on with your friend Bill Cosby? I know Camille came out with a statement. Dr. Camille Cosby came out with a statement defending him on Monday. Uh-huh. I'm just going to get your take. I mean, he, 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 he thinks very highly of you. I mean, I remember when he was on our Sydney Hall show, he spoke very highly of you as well as in your documentary on, on TV One. Yeah. So I know y'all be friends and stuff like that. He respects you dearly. So, I mean, I, I just want to know what your take is as the father of seven uh, daughters. Seven daughters. Yeah, how you feel about well, this right now? Well, first, let me tell you real quick mm-hmm. what happened to me. Yes, sir. I get a letter, and this is not dealing with him. Mm-hmm. I get a letter. Two things that tell me uh, I'm in San Francisco. The letter comes from New York, and so I just want you to know you're the father of my child, and you need to get in touch with me. I threw the letter away. <laughs> tell me that? <laughs> so then, six months later, I'm in New York working at a nightclub, hmm? mm-hmm. and on Saturday, Morning, I knock on the door. Two New York cops. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Two New York cops. Hey, Gregory, yes, sir. Get your hat and coat. Let's go down to the precinct. I said, for what? I don't know. So I go downstairs, and I start thinking it was funny when they put me on the subway. Hmm? Mm-hmm. And so we get to the station. And they read this stuff out about this woman said, I'm the father of her child. Hmm? Want y'all to hear this good now? Mm-hmm. So I called my managers, and I told them I was in jail. So they came down and bailed me out and brought the lawyer down. At the end of the whole thing, I paid the lawyer like $800,000. Hmm? Mm-hmm. And so he asked me that day, it's very important. Is she white or black? I said, I have no no. I don't know her. Okay. No, no. <clears throat> no, they, they go in. And, and when you're dealing with big money, boy, it's hard to beat. Because this company is so big, they didn't know nothing about black uh, uh, detectives. I mean, you know, the, right. the ones that work undercover. Right. They didn't know how to get none. So they told me what we're going to do is get hold to a black guy, and he's going to get one for us, and he'll work through us, which means whatever he gets goes to them. I pay both of them, right? Right. So one day I got to go in every weekend to listen to what they found. I want you to hear this good, man. Yes, sir. So he said, uh, um, she said the, the guy we hired, he's living with her now, <laughs> you know. To go to you, and I get the bill. Right? <laughs> That's why you cannot mess with big money. Hmm? Mm-hmm. And then she said something on one of the tapes that um, uh, this cop in the such and such a district, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, he's the one she works through. So now my white lawyer comes to me with his precious self, and he says, Dick. I got something that just pains me. I was told by the undercover black detective that we hired. Not a real, not not city. These are the ones that white folks get to spy on their wife and shit. Right. He was said that she mentioned this uh, uh, captain at at such and such a uh, place. Said if we showed this to him, he'd kill her. So I said, well, let me tell you something. I don't give a damn about her being killed or not. I don't give a damn about her being a black woman. And when you got this case, you asked me was she white or black. And I said, I didn't know. But I really believe if I would have told you she was white, I don't believe you were giving me this option, so let's proceed. huh? That's Dick Gregory. I don't care who knows about that. That's me. huh? Right. All right. So now the trial, we're going through it. We're going through it. 
and not a child's getting ready to start. Now, let me tell you something which is interesting. One day, we'll pull the files up huh? mm-hmm. and do the whole thing on this show. Yes, sir. In the state of New York, right, mm-hmm. you can't win one of these cases. You know why? Why? Because if the judge rules against her, she can't say another person is father. That's double jeopardy. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. Self-incrimination, right? Right. So the New York State is not going to take a baby. So they showed me stuff where this rich white dude, man, was born with no penis or testicles. So the woman said they gave him the baby. Okay? A yeah. guy was in, in World War II, crawled up over a hand grenade and blew all of them parts away. They gave him the baby. You know why? Why? Because if the New York State said, I'm not the father, and they can't blame it, nobody in New York State got to take care of this child, and we ain't talking about welfare. That's why nobody ever wanted I said, well, <laughs> yeah. maybe I have to go to jail or whatever y'all do. But I'm not, I'm not. So then we start finding out to do all of them like that. They got the, the, the mob ran it. They had a mob where they did nothing but white celebrities. They got one, they do nothing but black celebrities from Frank Sinatra to to Sammy Davis. Uh, and they pay out of court. They pay, man. Yeah. So now we're getting ready to go to court. Go to court. And uh, the New York Post comes out the day before. Dick Gregory's. Trial starts tomorrow, uh, 300 and something thousand dollar paternity. Now that hits. Right? Mm-hmm. And so they have no idea I was going. Huh? Nobody mm-hmm. do this, right? Mm-hmm. So I go, and the trial starts, and now they got to, and and they are something, man. They, they got to have the woman and got to have a friend of hers that was with me on such and such a night. And my writer, Jim Sanders. Well, mm-hmm. he took us back to the hotel, and and we had champagne, and da-da-da-da-da. Now, the witness has to leave early, so she ain't in no slut bag. So she said, well, I was in Jim Sanders' suite, and uh, I left, and I came by to knock on the door to say goodbye to my friend. And so I went home, because I had to get my children ready for school. And so I woke up at 7 o'clock. Listen to this now when the God force moves in. And then this not happened. Y'all wouldn't have heard of Dick Gregory because I'd have been somewhere for the rest of my life. Hmm? Not paying this, not none of this. huh? And so she said, uh, so now he's interviewing her. This about mm-hmm. to tell you what's happened with the Cosby thing. Hmm? Right. If he did it or not, I don't know. That's a police job, huh? Right. I'm looking at what they're telling me. Now, watch this now. So he's crossing examining the friend of hers that first they've established that I was there. Who told him? Her best friend. Her best friend left at 4 o'clock. How does she know I, she was there? And here's the guard. She said, so I called Mary, whatever her name is, so-and-so. And uh, and, uh, and I told her I was getting my children ready for school, and I'd see her later today. Uh, I touched my lawyer, and I said, did you just hear that? He didn't. You cannot call a person who's registered in a hotel and ask for another name, and they ring the room. <laughs> You <laughs> had a universal God for him, work. Oh, yes, beautiful. Yes. Then when he got up there, whew, man, I realized why well, I had to pay him so much money. <laughs> he said, first, so-and-so, I want to apologize to you because I guess I got that prejudice in me and didn't know it. I just saw you as a trampy, Negro slut. But right behind you is the American flag, and the longer I looked at that flag, and the longer I thought about justice, I said I got to, I got to get it up. So I want to apologize to you for that, and please forgive me. And so now he gets into the 
her testimony. It takes him about an hour and a half because he keeps going around, going around and said, "Now, when you uh, when you went into when you called her, uh, how'd you know what hotel to call? So I had the phone number. Uh, okay, uh, you sure it was the Beverly Hill Hill Hotel? I'm positive. I didn't have a number. And at what time did you call? Mm-hmm. And you asked for who? I asked for Betty or whatever her name was. She came to the phone, yes. Uh-huh. And he took her around, and then he said to her, said, oh, are you aware that you cannot call, I could not call your name that's registered for you and ask for Jim Jones? Huh? It's impossible. In some kind of way, she went off. She cussed every, she called, she emailed everybody. And I know you just take this big money and go mess with two black sisters like y'all doing. And the judge stopped the trial and said, case dismissed. History. I'm the only person in the history of New York that beat one of them cases. So now the baby is a ward of the New York State, not welfare, everything. So now wow. I'll show you how this thing works. So one day I'm speaking in New York. Now my oldest son died, okay? So I had 11 children. Right. So some kind of way I slipped, because I normally say 10. I said I had 11 children, and she thought I was talking about her. She's in the audience. This girl. Mm. Grown, huh? Mm. I mean, 17, 18. And so she starts crying, and she tells me who she is. Now, I've got 10 children. How are you going to tell somebody what their mother told them is a lie? Right. So I said, "Well, wait a minute. Let me let me uh, let me let me go to a payphone. I want you to come with me. And who is it? Your aunt." And I called Leo and I said, "You know that uh, that trial we had." I said, "Well, the young lady's here now, and I want to say this in front of you." I said, "Well, this summer when school's out, why don't you come down on the farm and meet mm-hmm. your brothers and sisters?" And so here's the number. Just call Leo, and she'll make arrangements. Right. So I didn't see her for like six months. She came to me and I said, why didn't you come down? She said, my mama told me your children would beat me up. Hmm? Hmm? Mm-hmm. I mean, I know damn good and well, looking at my children, that their mother tell them something, they're going to believe it. Who am I to say it didn't happen, right? Right. And so, so that's the one thing. Okay, now. I'll get to Bill in a minute. Mm-hmm. I'm going to uh, to Detroit to do a thing, a church group. Mm-hmm. They're paying me fantastic money because I got to do five things that day starting at 7 something in the morning. Mm-hmm. So it's 7 something in the morning. To 8 o'clock that night, right? Right. And so I check in that night. And I get up to be at a 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock breakfast with them, right? Mm-hmm. So I go, and uh, I get I get dressed. So now we're going to be out all day. It's so hot in Detroit, I am drenching wet, but I haven't got time because we go right straight through. And then right. God came to him and said, no, Mr. Gregory, we didn't want to say this, but we don't have anything to do now until the 8 o'clock dinner. So we can either take you to a vegetarian restaurant or can take you back to the hotel. I said, oh, take me back to the hotel. So I go back to the hotel, take my clothes off, soaking wet my suit, take a shower, open up the door, and I see a pair of women's panties and women's shoes. Hear me now. I don't know if they was there. I don't know if the maid left them there. Hmm? Mm Mm-hmm. So I put my robe on, and I called downstairs, and I said, would you send a, a manager up and a house detective? I need to report something. Well, they jump quick because they don't want their hotel getting no bad name about nothing, right? Mm-hmm. So they come up, and I tell them what happened. And I said, I don't know if uh, they was here when I came in last night. They was here when I left this morning. But I said, I can't afford not to have this go on record, huh? So then the brother told me 
He said, just a minute. He had a little thing over his arm like a woman's purse. And he said, let me put the key in here. He said, every time a key go in here, it gets recorded. Hmm? Cool. And I can look. You came in what time? I said, so he said, to the said yeah, you came in at 11.50. You, got, you left here at 7.40. The maid came in at 12.10. Oh, here it is, here, here, here's it. No, somebody came in here and it wasn't us. I said, we got the key here. This is not one of our keys. Somebody did come in here. Mm. So then I said, okay, then you need to call the the uh, Detroit police. He said, oh, we no, no. So Detroit police came in and I told him, to write this down, have this out. Now, assuming I hadn't came back, you know. Right. I would have went from there to the dinner or the lunch, right? Mm-hmm. I come back that night after I finish. I go to bed. At 2 o'clock in the morning, cops knocking on my door, right? And they got this white woman. Huh? And she crying, all beat up. And she says, uh, uh, he did this, and, and, and I, I ran out, and I left my shoes and my panties here. Anytime something happens at 4 o'clock in the morning and you're looking at it at the 7 o'clock news, do you know how hard it is to get a camera at that time of morning? Hmm. So you all wake up today, and you got this white woman crying, saying, I didn't rape her. See, we've been lovers for 15 years, Okay. And I told him I was married, and he said, well, I just want some cocaine. And I came by, and then after we shared the cocaine, I told him I had to get home. Then he grabbed me and tried to have sex with me, and uh, and uh, I ran out and left my shoes. I put them in the closet when I came in. And so now I get out of jail that morning, and the whole world and heard we've been lovers for 15 years. Mm. So I get out, hmm? mm-hmm. and the cameras is there. I say, Mr. Gregory, uh, you got anything to say? I say, I don't, I don't know who, I don't even know what this is about. I don't even know who she is, right? Now, mm-hmm. I told the world that, right? She right. said, we've been lovers for 15 years. Now, put a pin there, and let me show you how this works. Five years ago, this is myth, this is myth. Five years ago, I was in Kansas City. This is now. Mm-hmm. And when I get through, a white dude walks up to me and says, God, I've never heard nothing like this in my life. Jesus, what a... He said, let me tell you who I am. I have 50 companies. And I'm about to lose my federal contracts because the woman thing is coming through, and I don't know how to deal with it, but you just told me... It's too late tonight, but can I come by in the morning and we have breakfast? I need you, and I need you to give me a price of how much it costs for you to come to my 50 companies. So I go to bed. Next day, I'm up. Right? I go down. Anytime you go into a restaurant, you know how you can wait to be seated. You can sit at the bar. Right. Never sit at the bar. You okay. know why? Why? You're not responsible for who you're sitting next to. Mm. So me and him sitting there, and we talking. He's, oh, my son's fixing to get married. I forgot the date. Let me run to the car and get my briefcase. So when he leaves, this is missed now. A white woman says, Dick Gregory, oh, do my father, oh, do my father, oh, can I hug you? And she hugs and kiss. Click, 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 click. Hmm? Mm. Now, I've told the whole world. I never met her. I don't know her. And they come up with this picture from 15 years ago, or five wow. years. Hmm? Now, what do you all think of me? See, so you can't ask about him because I know too much about what goes down. For right. instance, let's say you are the top. You just put out a record today that's selling $10 million a week, right? Right. All right. A couple of days before Christmas, right? Mm-hmm. So you got a big royalty check coming, right? You're going to have a Christmas. So two weeks ago, I filed charges against you, not as Dick Gregory, huh? Mm-hmm. And said, I wrote that song. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Now, they don't know or not. So now we go to court. You know what happens? 
What happened? The federal judge freeze all your money. Now, you ain't never had no money. You one of the richest cats in the movie industry, and you don't have a quarter for Christmas, right? Mm-hmm. So you make a deal. You settle out of court. Hmm? All right. This is a scam they've been doing. Now, I'm not saying this about these ladies. I'm saying what goes on out here. So now, here's what I question. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Bill Cosby was getting ready to buy NBC. He had right. the money and the pool. Hmm? Mm-hmm. White supremacy said no black person will ever own a network. Hmm? Right. So his son comes up dead hmm? mm-hmm. in California. He's driving on the highway. Gets a flat. They say it's robbery. Who gonna rob somebody on the highway with a car doing eighty, seventy, eighty like a month? Huh? Right. So they say he pulls off the highway and calls this woman friend of his, right? Mm-hmm. She shows up in high heel shoes, mini skirt, and uh, and a mink coat, right? Mm-hmm. The high help him change the tire. What they didn't know, this Mercedes. Had the technology got a flat, you push the button and it changed its own tire. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Now ask a question: How is it Bill Cosby's son was killed and he can't do no Jello commercials no more? Mm. Is that is that mean, man? Mm. He can't do no more Jello commercials. I mean, think about that, huh? Mm-hmm. That is that is really out of your mind, right? Right. Okay, so now, <clears throat> no NBC. Hmm? Mm-hmm. So now, the word I got from my people in Europe, he's getting ready to make another big deal. Now, who told the world about him this time? Was it the black comic? Yeah, Hannibal Burris. That's who, that's okay. who they blame it on, yeah. No, 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 I'm talking about who did you see? You know who right, they right. blame it on? Huh? Right. Him, mm-hmm. did a whole act, right? Right. Most people ain't never heard of him around the world, right? Right. Have you seen him in the last three weeks? No. Okay, see how they do it? They will start it off with a black man, because you can't say this is a white folk trick. Right. He gets out there. If Hannibal Bird came up dead tonight, most people around the world would think, who put the hit on him? Hmm? Mm-hmm. Who? Bill Cosby, right? Right. I thought, okay. yeah, 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 definitely. If Bill Cosby came up dead tonight in a suicide note, how many people wouldn't believe it, huh? That's true. Okay, so I'm not saying what they're saying is not true. I'm saying this. Why are all these women coming out hmm, mm-hmm. when it's too late to get any money? Hmm? Right. And why didn't you come out before? Hmm? Yes. Now, watch this. Okay. When they came out, the girl came out, she's 15 years old, hmm? Mm-hmm. At the Playboy Club, huh? Right, crazy. Mm-hmm. And Bill Cosby took her and her friend. Oh, it might not be crazy. But yeah. said, say you, you are you 19, huh? Right. The next day, the LAPD, and if you didn't see that, you need to pull that. The LAPD say they're going to they're gonna investigate Bill Cosby and Hugh Hefner. Hmm? Yeah. Okay, now listen to this now. They said that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we got a few minutes. You can pull that up while I'm talking. Yes, this sir. is the, the head of the police department, huh? Of mm-hmm. the L.A. police department, huh? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I see ago. it. Yeah. Huh? It's a New York Daily News on December 7, 2014, LAPD to search health and state during Bill Cosby investigation. Okay, now, you heard that, right? Right. Two days ago, pull up what he said. They have no evidence to proceed with an investigation. This is what his wife was talking about. Mm-hmm. That ran all over the world. Right. Now, here's the problem with this. The head of the L.A. Police, L.A. Police Department, you know how many lawyers they got? Mm-hmm. More than God, probably. <laughs> huh? More than God. All right, no. Mm-hmm. You mean the lawyers couldn't tell him? The time have expired, huh? That's mm-hmm. what he said. We 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 passed the the time that you could we could investigate this case wow. because of statute of limitations. No, this is what he said. 
You just read. What did he say when you first read it? They were going to investigate uh, Hugh Hefner's estate. Looking for what? Uh, evidence. Okay. No. That, that happened, what, 30 years ago? Right. No, I'm thinking. <laughs> Man, this fool. See, when this stack that, just said, listen to what he said. Now, all of them said he gave him pills, right? Right. But nobody knew what the pill was, huh? But yeah. most of them said he didn't have nothing to do. How do you know if you're unconscious, huh? How do that's you a, know if you're yeah. unconscious, huh? That's, you know what? And that's a good question that Whoopi Goldberg raised towards Beverly Johnson on the show. Uh, yeah. About you know, wh- were you concerned about the type of drug it was? Why weren't you concerned about the type of drug? Why didn't well, you? Well, you know heard the what she said, didn't you? Right. I've had I've had every type of drug you can have. Thank mm-hmm. you. I'm glad you said it. But you know, also I want to ask you this as well. well wait, wait, I, wait, wait, no, this is important. Oh, oh yes, yeah, sir. I Fair. knew something was happening to me. She said I had every kind of drug and called him an MF on the front page of the of the New the York Fair. Huh. Vanity Fair? Or are you talking about, um, no, no, the front page the other day of the New York, either the the, the Daily News or the New York, uh, uh, the the uh, the New York. What is it? Uh, uh, Times, not the Times. No, 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 no. The the the, the Daily News. No, I don't Daily News. And the uh, uh. the uh, what is it? The Post, the Post, Post, New York Post. Yeah, yes. Pull up one of them the other day where it says she called him an MF. This is the headlines, man. Uh huh. Where she called him an MF. That was just a couple of days ago. Hmm? Okay. No. And then she said, well, I got in the cab. I told the cab driver I just called Bill Cosby an MF. She might have. But that don't seem normal. you going to tell a strange cab driver. Hmm? Right. And then she says she called his house two nights later. Right. And his wife answered the phone. Right. And she said, Bill's in bed sleep. Matter of fact, we in bed together. That sounds strange for a wife to say, right? Right. Me and my husband's in bed together. What, what does that mean? Huh? Right. And so now, did that thing come up yet? In the, well, I, I type in NY Post Beverly Johnson. Uh called Bill Cosby and MF or like a lot of them, the Vanity Fair article come up and the gossip, all the little gossip sites, they... Well, don't worry about it. I'm saying it was the headlines, so we can find right. that any time. No, no, right. I don't... So here's what I'm saying. So I'm listening to this, and I've got seven daughters. Huh? Right. And I'm an entertainer. I know what entertainers do. Huh? Mm-hmm. They caught Charles Barkley in the car in the back seat having us with him, and they let him go after he cussed them out, huh? Right. Now, I would never say that on this show unless you could punch it up and pull it. It made the news. Hmm? Right. So what I'm saying is, is it could all be true, but I'm looking at stuff. Hmm? Now, what did they do? You think they're doing it for money? Hell no. Look, didn't NBC cancel his new show? Right. You know that, right? Mm-hmm. Did you know they had to pay him $50 million anyway? No, they ain't say that. I, I didn't know that. I didn't ask you. I said, did you know? No, it? no, sir. No, sir. Okay. Uh, Netflix canceled his show, right? Did you know they had to pay him $60 million? I didn't know that. Wow. Did you know the company that, that distributes his reruns of the Cosby show? Mm. Did you know they canceled? Yes. All right. Now, let me tell you. Uh, Ed... Uh, uh, Bill has 51% ownership of that. Ed Weinberger, my friend, I'm the first guy he ever wrote for, and he had to go everywhere black I went, him and Jim Sand. That's why he's one of the richest cats in Hollywood. He wrote so many black shows. He also wrote for Johnny Carson. He wrote uh, uh, Mary Tyler Moore. He wrote Taxi. uh, The money just flows in, right? Right. And so, and then everybody that was on that show, the children and everybody, huh? Mm-hmm. That's grown now. Mm-hmm. Do you know when them reruns run? Every time it runs, they get a thousand dollars per show. Mm. Okay. Now wait a minute. Now it runs a minimum of thirty times a day, a maximum of fifty times. So if your daughter, if you was a little boy, if you was on the show every day, you guaranteed thirty thousand dollars or fifty thousand. You know how much investment you have. Now that that's cut off, 
how you gonna pay them notes, man? Hmm? This thing is huge. Hmm? Hmm. Wow. So what I'm saying is, is the women where they're getting the money. They might be there. They ain't saying where they're getting the money from. Just because you was a hot star, you can be raggedy and broke now, huh? Nobody's talking about where they're into drugs, okay? Mm-hmm. Now we already know he's into drugs. He's listening to them, but they not said that. Hmm? Mm-hmm. He gave him some wine. And then he give him this pill. Well, who are you going to take a pill that somebody gives you? Right. I see cocaine or heroin or crack, but somebody going to give you a pill? Hmm? And so then the next thing they'll do is they'll come up and say, you know, some woman was murdered. And they'll find some black guy just like they did that thug comic to say, mm-hmm. I did this for him, huh? Right. And then you know what they'll say? Well. Oh, they happen to be in the state with a statute limited. <laughs> you know? So that's how I look at it, because I know what they're doing out here, and I see it. And uh, if a woman, look, look, first, first, if yeah. you can find a woman to find something I was doing 30 years ago, right? All right. You think I quit? You mean if I'm that type of freak, you think I didn't have one <laughs> last month? <laughs> right, exactly. You, you got pills me? and stuff now. You got all types of stuff that can keep you going for a while. You, you hear me? And, yeah. so, and so how come if they can go back and find all them women, how come right. they can't find a recent one, a winded bill stop? Hmm? Hmm. Okay. And so that's what that's, that, that, that's what we're looking at. Now, it might come out to be true, but they got to come out with some better stuff and they're coming up. Now, finally, before we finish,